Hello, in this video I'm going to go over performing differentiation on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. The first thing to establish is that this calculator cannot perform symbolic differentiation. That would require a computer algebra system or CAS and that is not allowed in the bulk of exams including all the UK exams. Uh, calculators with CAS are like expensive. Uh, the Casio model that can do it is the Casio FX CG500, not the 50, the 500. And it's about two hundred pounds. Um, the TI Inspire CAS can do it, and there's some HP model that can do it as well. But this can't. Um, just to make it super clear what I mean by that, it means you can't give it something such as f of x equals two x squared equals two f squared, and then ask it to give you f dash of x. It, it, it can't do this. It can't then tell you that that's four x. You can only evaluate the gradient function at specific points. So, to make that clearer, I'll show you what I mean using this example. To do differentiation, we can click F4. In the basic run matrix menu, we can click F4, and this brings us to the math menu. We can then click F4 again, and this brings us this uh, command. And we can type in our function, so 2x squared in this case. And this will di differentiate 2x squared with respect to x. Then, we have to say where we want to differentiate it at. Let's say at 1. Click execute, and it tells us that the gradient uh, of 2x squared at 1 is 4. And you can see, if we put 1 into this, we get 4. And if we run it again, uh, by the way, x is this key here, x theta t. And, and let's say we put in 2, we'll get 8, and so on. And you can, of course, do much, much more complicated ones. Uh... Anything you want. Uh, oops, of course. Uh, and it, it, yeah, it can evaluate it. You may also notice you can perform second derivatives. Oops, maybe a cubed. Seven. Yeah, so it can do second derivatives. And if I go back to this example, uh, the second derivative will actually be a constant. So. Uh, I can put in 2x squared, evaluate it at 1, and, or I could do 2x squared, evaluate it at 2, and, and you can see it's still the second derivative. Of course, if you need to go higher, you can just differentiate, to find the gradient function manually, and uh, then use either first or second derivative, depending on how many more orders you need to go. Um, this feature is also available under the calculus menu. And to get that, we're going to click exit from the math menu, then option, then F4 for calc. And we can see it there here again, identical. Now this also brings us to another interesting point. We can combine this with the solving function to solve equations. So we could put in, for example, 2x squared and ask it to tell us at which value of x does the gradient equal zero. Give us the typical warning that may, may, uh, multiple solutions may exist, and it will get output zero. Sure enough, that would give zero. If we do a more complex one, one that wouldn't be zero, you'll see it will tell us where the function, where, it, where its gradient will be zero. And of course, if there are multiple places where it will be zero, let's uh, put in like a, a uh, let's put in like a higher one. Like uh, sixth degree polynomial. And then we, we're going to put in x equals x because we want it to solve for x. Tell us the value of x at which this equals. By the way, equals is shift dot down here. Zero. Close the bracket. And we've got a syntax error. Where did we go wrong? Ah, yes, I forgot to put in solving all the way on this side. After hanging for a second, because it's more complex. Ah, this one's only got one. Uh, where with equals zero, apparently. But you get the point. Okay, I hope this video was useful. Thank you.